everybody. Welcome to another haul video. This video is going to be a haul video from a couple of different trips to the Goodwill. Um, I think of the, just the Goodwill. Sometimes I go to the Salvation Army, but this is, I'm pretty sure, more of a Goodwill haul. So, if you like what you see, uh, stick around. Some of these things may have already been in one of my live sales or it will be in an upcoming live sale. If you're interested in YouTube live sales, I will be having my live sales every Sunday after, well, afternoon here for me, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Reclaim Treasures by Mary. And I have a little bit of everything. Um, I have vintage and modern and some crafting items and just a, a interesting variety and we have a lot of fun. And so I'm gonna show you some of the haul, I'm gonna show you a haul combination. I they kind of all blend together at times and um, if you've seen a couple of my other videos I'm doing batch videos uh, so you may see me in the same outfit <laughs> so why don't we just jump right in and get started one of the best things I found I'll show you this first is a 12 inch paper cutter isn't that gorgeous and I, you know, you can never have too many paper cutters, right? This is a more modern one, and you know, you can carry it with you. I have the larger, you know, old fashioned, as they call it, guillotine one, you know, the big one that my grandfather had, and I, I love it. But sometimes you need something a little lighter to travel with, so it's wonderful. And I am keeping this. I only got it for $5. $5. I couldn't believe it. So, I'm hoping to be able to do some more, um, oops, that was just a paper bag, it's okay. <laughs> do some more of um, junk journaling, I also do that. Um, not having the, a lot of time at the moment, but I work for a school district, um, so I'll have Christmas break to work on some of those and get them going. So, uh, the next thing is the other thing that I'm going to keep because it was just beautiful. I love flowers, butterflies, all that nature kind of stuff. And so I found this beautiful box and it has the hinge here, the glass box, and it has gorgeous butterflies and flowers on the top. And these cute little like circles down here at the bottom. I just think it's gorgeous. I'm not sure what I'll put in it, but this is staying with me. <laughs> so that's so pretty. All right, so we'll just keep moving along here and I will show you something which I thought was kind of interesting but kind of funny too because if you follow um, other resellers, you would know, um, of course, the crazy lamp lady, Jocelyn. Um, and sorry guys, I still have one of the stickers on here. Um, you can see some of this stuff has just been hanging out until I had a chance to do these videos. So, all right, give me two more seconds and get the rest of this sticker off. But what I thought was funny when I grabbed it, it's a really interesting duck, um, bowl or ashtray, I think it is because it has this, but you know, very mid century modern kind of thing with the, the, um, pearly looking eyes there, gems. It does have some crazing, which is good, but <laughs> what is even more fun is the person that made it, if you can see in there, Jocelyn made it in 1967. So I thought that was a little bit funny because um, Jocelyn that we know, the crazy lamp lady, she's not born in 67. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. Cool duck tray, but having Jocelyn sign it. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so I do have sales every sa Sunday afternoon uh, for me um, at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So, and I'm sorry if I keep repeating that. I just want to let you know. So some of this stuff has either been in a live sale that I've had or is could be coming up in another one or making a comeback. So if there's something you like that's interesting, um, that you want or you want to see, you may see it tomorrow because um, I'm filming this on a Saturday. 
that you may want to purchase or um, gift somebody or something. So talking about gifts, I'm not going to name names, but I found this adorable little ornament. And um, if you look at the kind of dog it is, some of my other reseller friends may know who, um, well, if you look at the kind of dog, because I don't want to say anything, because if you know, uh, I may be sending this as a gift, <laughs> like a little bit of friend mail. So, if you see what, what kind of doggy it is, it's a cute little ornament. So that's going to be one of the things that are gifted. So now are the things that are going to be things that I would be selling in a live sale. I'm going to show you this here first. Now this is wonderful that I found. Oh, nope. This, I remember, is from a cute little thrift store out near one of the school districts that I work at. And I know because of the kind of um, stickers they use are different from the goodwill now this thing it's a beast um i would have to stop the video to figure out how much it weighs but i will probably show it in a live video and weigh it before that but oh this is a betty crocker recipe card library with i'm pretty sure all the cards <laughs> It is wonderful, but it weighs, it has to weigh at least a good four or five pounds. It is that green color with the hinge. Let's see, let's open up and see what recipes they have here. Uh, ah, seasonal favorites. Let's see what we have here. Oh, and they're even like wrapped, some of them are have wrapped with the little um, rubber bands, whoever had these. So, let's see. Seasonal favorites. What would be a good seasonal favorite? Oh, sauerkraut. Ah, fruitcake. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. What would be... Oh, here we go. Here's one you don't hear very often. You could make your own wassail. <laughs> This, oh, copyright 1971 General Mills. This is a, a beverage. Apple cider, cinnamon, nutmeg, honey, lemon juice, uh, lemon peel, unsweetened pineapple juice, orange stars, and cinnamon sticks. So you can make yourself some wassail. <laughs> and then they show you how to do the holiday leftovers and a wintry salad variety. But Okay, I'm not sure what is happening there, but take a look at, the, I think that's an egg in the middle, but it looks like, like zebra stripes or something. <laughs> so orange baked Alaska, oh, all sorts of cool things. Springtime ham, oh, all sorts of neat ideas. So that's seasonal favorites, so you could, um, and the graphics are pretty cool. You know, that 1970 kind of look there. So, we have all sorts of things. Budget casseroles, coffee, parties, outdoor. They all have these different um, things at the top that say what they are. So, that is really neat. And we could discuss that. I'll probably... I know... I wouldn't even know how much to charge for this because, whew. But I'll check that out and see what can happen. But maybe someday, if you guys want, I could do a video or something going through some of these recipes from, from 1970. <laughs> so, let's keep moving. I found this beautiful little, um, well, it's not really little, this canister. I'm trying to get the tape off. At least it wasn't packing tape. It was, oh, darn it. Well, helps to look, but I'll still show it to you anyways. And it is a beautiful canister. And it is made in Holland, which is interesting because a lot of these are made in Portugal. So this one being made in Holland. 
Really? This says this is a Delft. Huh. I was surprised the sticker covered it up. This says it's Delft. That is a gorgeous painting. The only problem is I saw here was this gigantic chip. So I would still sell it if anybody really wanted it, but maybe you could turn it the other direction or um, I guess you don't really see it till you're right on top of it. So, but that's beautiful. So even if you just have it for a display, you could turn that away from there. But I was surprised that this is a Delft. So, all right. That was a nice find, except for that little chipperoo there. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep moving along. I found this egg coddler, uh, Royal Worcester porcelain made in England. Very nice little, um, fruit and berries I think there let's see now this one does have the packing tape on it so mm. that other one just had masking tape which I guess is okay or not masking tape um clear tape but not packing clear tape so let's see oh can we get it there we go that one has a top that comes off screws off there very nice that's wow what are you that's like doing an ostrich egg in there <laughs> i don't know that's just a big egg coddler i don't know if i've seen them that big before all right but very nice okay this little trinket box i thought was very interesting it doesn't it's probably modern but i just thought it was pretty cool Oh, sorry. It does have a bird on the front there. And it almost has the terracotta feeling on the inside. It's still attached with the tape. That's not hinged. So I thought that would be a cute little trinket box for somebody. You know, a little girl or something, a daughter or something, niece. It doesn't have any markings. Um, doesn't say who made it, but I just thought it would be a cute little trinket box for someone special. Okay. I have this guy, but his missus has gone for a little walk. I think she's in another area, <laughs> but it is a chalkware Dutch boy. Now, as we know, chalkware can be a little rough um, treatment to it. <laughs> so you might want, unless you like the, the aged look, may need to touch it up a little bit. It does sort of have a, the hanger in the back. And um, the, the girl, the Dutch girl that goes with it is same similar clothing, but not sure what happened to her. Maybe she took a little vacation. <laughs> so that'll be available in a live sale. And most of these other things will too. I, there's only a few things that I mentioned early on that wouldn't be. This I found was gorgeous. It's one of those little, um, lemon type I think or lemon or finger dishes that you put clean your fingers after you've eaten a meal um, sorry about that that doesn't appear to have markings but they always like to put the <laughs> oh it does have a very faint marking here can't even tell what it is it's super light right there I don't know if you can see that it's very light but it's gorgeous blue paint with the the pink flowers so pretty okay oh, this next item oh, is tragic I felt horrible when I picked it up well I picked it up that wasn't the problem the traveling from the area to the counter was the problem. So, if you saw it la in my last live sale, you would have seen what happened. It's this gorgeous set of lusterware. The blue and the orange, beautiful creamer and the interesting handle. Okay, It does say made in Japan. 
a gorgeous little lusterware creamer. And then we have the sugar bowl, which has the same lines and everything. I made in Japan and a beautiful top. That'll come into play in a second. A gorgeous top to go with the sugar bowl. Now these themselves are gorgeous, right? But I had, or I have, the teapot. But you'll notice something is missing from the teapot. When I went to pick this up to put it on the counter, the top fell off, broke into like four pieces. I was like, no, this, there are no other chips or cracks on this at all. Well, maybe maybe a little rough spot on the spout, but it's gorgeous. And I go ahead and drop the top. I was like, oh my goodness. So these will be available in an upcoming live sale. You know, it's still a coffee. It may still be a teapot, but you could put a plant in it or something. So very nice lusterware. Then I have these cute little doggies. I think we figured I showed these in a live sale that these might be a spaniel and this little guy's made in Japan. This guy's a little rough. He's got some chips on his ear and one on his face, but still cute nonetheless, right? And then we have our schnauzer. And that gorgeous little schnauzer there. And he's made in Japan too. So these little guys will be in, they've been in it on sale, but they can come back again too. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. Now I did pick this up and I showed it last week and I was very surprised nobody picked it up. So it will be coming back in my live sales. This is a Moonstone opalescent white uh, dish. I'm pretty sure a hobnail um, anchor hawking. Isn't that gorgeous? So this one will definitely be coming up in an upcoming sale because that would be gorgeous with some um, beautiful little balls uh, ornament balls you know red or green or whatever so that's definitely gonna be in an upcoming sale and then I have these um, I'm not sure what you want to call them iridescent oil spill rainbow you name it these are fire king now I don't know if it's gonna be easy to see that the F in the middle it is the creamer beautiful shape I do not feel any chips or cracks here so it's got the creamer and the sugar bowl and the sugar bowl has the top, which is awesome. Sometimes the tops don't make it. So, and then this top is good too. I don't feel any flea bites or anything. So we have these two gorgeous sugar and creamer set. So those will be available in an upcoming sale. And this is a next one is a precious moments plate and uh, made by unesco and i just thought it was so cute it's for the month of august so if you have anybody with an august birthday you no know, the gem there and it's just a cute little plate you know commemorating um birthday it's a little tiny girl and it looks like in a little um play pool and some duckies and their mommy <laughs> so I just thought that was so cute and I wanted to pick that up so. and moving on we're getting down here a few things here this is a gorgeous little trinket box and it has um, two birds but this may be staying with me because birdie number two has lost his beak <laughs> so this may be going in my collection and it is those cute little trinket ring boxes or whatnot. It doesn't, um, well, they've put the tag over the other tag. So, isn't that pretty? But then I notice a little closer up that he's missing the top of his beak there. So, unless you really, really want it, I think he will stay, <laughs> stay with me. Alrighty, so, these are so cute little dolls now I know they had said something somewhere I don't remember where it was no. well 
there's these cute little like almost 1970s kind of dollies and they both one's blonde hair one's brown with a hat aren't they so cute and they're in these little outfits and they have little hearts on their feet and they're you know going free <laughs> if you know what I mean not gonna turn them around <laughs> so they're going free so aren't they adorable I thought somebody if they like little toys or just a little display but so cute all right and I found some corning ware with the um oh, I can't think of that pattern but it's a very I know that says the sausage or lesage or not the sausage oh my goodness and I took French in high school <laughs> I don't yeah I can only say a couple things but this is the pattern I don't if you guys can remind me what the pattern is it's on both sides little dish really good um it's pretty decent shape and it is the corning wear so that would be available uh this is something that I did show in a live sale recently it is a wintry kind. It says home in the wilderness, courier and ives, a uh, little trink or trivet. It, um, the only marking it has here is a letter M, but be nice. Not necessarily just for Christmas time, but you know, winter time, cause it's not really um, holiday specific. So that'll be available. This was available before. It's a holly and berry basket and 1970 71 there so that's beautiful okay and we're getting down to the last two things in this haul this was another thing that was um what i thought was the other thing because it's very similar this is something that's made in portugal and I like those, the things that are made in Portugal. This is something I don't think I would personally use, but um, I just don't have the room for something like this. But sorry, guys, just trying to get the sticker off of there. <laughs> so this is an interesting uh, flower holder. So it has the um, things coming up here, four of them. And the hand painting is on both sides. Oh, very neat and um you know it definitely must have held flowers <laughs> or something to that effect hand painted in portugal so very nice i thought yeah um oh dear well i might have seen now why they were sending it on their merry way there's a chip on each side so one here and one there but i guess if you um you could just give it a paint and it's broken on both sides so maybe <laughs> i'm sorry guys well it was pretty and if you think i should still keep it in the sale let me know what you think and last i know they had a lot of things on baskets there's uh, santa on a basket and birdies on a basket well how about a piggy on a basket <laughs> this was in my live sale before it's a piggy on a basket and it does say that it's made in Japan and it's beautiful there's nothing that I can really see but let me check because I've had a couple problems in this haul alone right let's see I don't feel any chips or cracks here so in the cute little piggy he's a piggy on a basket so these are some things that I've recently picked up in some of my lives, or some of my live sales, oh my goodness, in some of my travels. Um, and they, some of them may be available in my live sales, which as I said before, are every Sunday, three o'clock Eastern Standard Time um, on Reclaim Treasures by Mary, if there's anything that you liked here. And just shoot me a message at reclaimtreasuresbymary at gmail.com. And I hope to see you at an, a live sale and in another haul video. So please give this a thumbs up and if share if you'd like to and subscribe to see what kind of fun things I find again and join us for my live sales because sometimes it can be a pretty funny event. <laughs>
So I'll talk to you later. Bye.